in this video i am explaining repulsive forces that means repulsions between the electron clouds present in the molecules so repulsive forces repulsive forces so in my last video i have already told you about attractive attractive forces also there and also repulsive forces also there attractive forces repulsive forces present in the interacting particles present in the matter matter right so in my last video i have already told you about attractive forces london dispersion forces and dipole dipole forces and dipole induced dipole forces so in this video i am explaining about repulsive forces repulsive forces generally molecules shows the repulsive forces between them repulsive forces between them between them so when two molecules or come closer contact with each other this is one molecule this is one molecule consider so nucleus is placed at the center and electrons are revolving around the nucleus right so it is one molecule and it is another molecule so when two molecules are come close to each other then repulsions between the electron clouds repulsions between the electron clouds electron clouds of two molecules and nucleus of two molecules nucleus of two molecules right so the electron clouds of two molecules repulsions between the electron clouds and repulsions between the nucleus of two molecules repulsions between the electron clouds and repulsions between the this two nucleus two nucleus of two molecules right so the distance separating the molecules decreases this is the reason so this is the reason solids and also liquids solids and liquids so repulsive forces are between the present in between the molecules right so electron clouds present in the two molecules there is repulsion happen and the nucleus present in the two molecules there is also repulsions right so in solids and liquids what happen in solids the molecules or atoms or uh, particles are closely placed right closely placed like this manner in liquids there is distance between the molecules right so solids and liquids the molecules are placed like so in solids and liquids so molecules are placed like this manner so there is more repulsions between them repulsions between the electron clouds of them and nucleus of that molecules nucleus of that molecules so that's why solids are very hard to compress hard to compress liquids also very hard to compress so repulsive forces between them that's why it is very hard to compress when we when we observe the in solid substances and liquid substances there is molecules or particles are closely packed that means very come to closely 
close to each other so that's why there is more repulsions happen more repulsions happen that's why in solid states and liquid state hard to compress why because molecules all already in closed state molecules are already in closed states that's why very hard to compress this results in the increase in repulsive forces increase in repulsive forces repulsive forces repulsive interactions also called as repulsive interactions if we apply more compression to the solid substances or liquid substances there is increase in repulsive forces right this is about repulsive forces right so the next topic is thermal energy right thermal energy thermal energy is energy is due to the temperature energy is due to the temperature which results in the motion of particles motion of particles that means consider it is an beaker and the substance is present in the beaker if we apply heat that means temperature to the beaker then then what happen the particles that is atoms molecules present in the substances or move fast move fast right so that means the thermal energy is released heat is released right thermal energy means heat is released so energy is due to the temperature which results which results in the motion of particles motion of that means particles or mood mood fastly why because we are applying some temperature we are applying some temperature that's why particles or mood fast this is thermal energy energy is due to the temperature which results in the motion of particles right this is thermal so next one is thermal energy versus intermolecular forces so all of you know about thermal energy this energy is due to the temperature and intermolecular forces means there is attraction source also there there is repulsion also there intermolecular forces intermolecular forces so the thermal energy versus intermolecular force so generally in solids the intermolecular force right in solids intermolecular force of attractions are strong right intermolecular forces of attractions are very strong right very strong in solids right in solids why because in solids molecules are closely placed right closely contact with each other that's why intermolecular forces intermolecular molecular forces means there is attraction also there there is repulsion also there so intermolecular forces are very high very strong also so when thermal energy thermal energy is minimum here minimum in solids whereas coming to the gases in gases there is very free movement between the molecules right so the intermolecular forces of attractions are very weak very weak while thermal energy is high thermal energy is very high why because i am saying thermal energy that means when we apply heat to the this substances then what happened attractions between them is very very less attractions between them is very very less why because thermal energy is high thermal energy if we apply heat to them then the attractions between the molecules is very weak attractions between them is very weak 
air is coming to the solids attractions are very strong attractions are very strong why because molecules are closely contact with each other so thermal energy is minimum but in gases there is very distance between the there is large distance between the molecules right so when we apply heat to them the attraction forces between them is very very low very very low in gaseous state right if the substance then if the substance is heated for example if the substance is heated there is sub substances if the if this container heated then it gains thermal energy right it gains thermal energy so particles moves very fast in that particles moves very fast present in the substances right so the particle movement is very fast if we stop the if we stop the temperature that means heating if we stop then what happen then the beaker slowly losses thermal energy right slowly losses thermal energy then what happen the movement of particles is very slow movement of particles is very slow right when we apply heat to the beaker it gains thermal energy then particles of particle movement is very fast if we stop the temperature if we stop the heat then what happens the it loses thermal energy and then slowly movement of particles also very slow this is the interaction between that means the relation between the thermal energy and intermolecular forces intermolecular forces right you have to observe clearly here this is very simple so if we apply heat to the beaker then particles present in the substances or moved very fastly moved very fastly if we stop heating this then the movement of particles or very less that means very slowly movement is very slow so this is the relation between the thermal energy versus intermolecular forces relation between them right thank you for watching